All right, well, hello everybody and welcome up into the Bears Den where hopefully you can hear me clearly. I've got the old mic and some new extension cords and the tripod and oh, I got all excited because, you know, I thought the, uh, I, ordered a, I ordered a lapel mic last weekend. It arrived yesterday. I picked it up today. My camera does not acknowledge its existence. So I am, uh, yeah, using the microphone from the previous camera. Uh, however, that said, the mic seems to be giving me rather a lot of feedback according to the camera, so I don't know what you're hearing until I edit this. Such is life. All right, well, we're up in the bear's den. It's um, totally windy outside. It's a terrible day. I really hope you guys are having uh, much nicer gardening conditions wherever you're at, but here in, in southwest Manitoba, the garden season is definitely over. My indoor peppers, for the most part, look like they're doing okay. We lost a few of those red cup warriors, but, um, you know, no new deaths since last week, so that's fantastic. We'll take a look at those in a minute, but yeah, some of the plants are not looking phenomenal, like the Bad Brains pepper, for example, that actually has the pepper pod on it. I don't know. I don't understand how it could possibly be supporting a pepper pod, but it is. Uh, I'd like some advice if you want to throw it at me. Should I be trimming that sucker back, trying to uh, you know make it a single stemmed plant? Maybe that'll give it some life. I've tried giving it a little bit of nutrients. I don't want to give it too much because better too little than too much from everything I'm I'm picking up. And uh, yeah, it's actually got that pepper pot on there right now, so I don't want to kill it off, right? What do you do? Anyway, yeah, so general mic test. Hopefully the sound will be fairly consistent throughout all this. And uh, let's get looking at some peppers and some plants and, you know, something that's not my ugly mug in front of the blackboard. All right. So here is a look at you know, clearly this is the prize specimen amongst all the pepper plants that I've got right now. This is that Bad Brains, you know, the nicer of the ones. This has been, well, out of the arrow garden for, for quite a while now, and we can still see plenty of pepper flowers on there, but looking at it closer, I'm really just not seeing much of anything that looks like a proper pod I mean tons of flower starts though it is crazy and as always with this particular plant whenever I touch it things are falling off which has been well the way it is with this plant ever since it was in the arrow garden really but the leaves themselves look fantastic they've got a nice gloss to them like it looks like a healthy plant maybe a little underwatered, but uh, you know, in theory, that's not too big of a deal. I don't know. Would be really nice to see some some peppers on that puppy, though. It's just so big and beautiful, otherwise. But it's kind of a waste of space if it won't produce. You know. What do you do? All right, and then taking a look at these plants here. You know, starting way over here, we've got that bootleg clamshell. This, again, it's a nice looking plant. It's reaching up to touch the light, seems to be doing fairly well. Nicely spread out to absorb a lot of that light. Lots of flowers on it, no pepper pods. I just, it's, it's killing me. I definitely need to water. It's probably why things seem to be dropping off of most plants here. Got a box of ripening peppers right there. The place is a mess. I've been way too distracted with other stuff lately. What do we got here? We got the bootless scorpion. Not a bad looking pepper plant. Again, we've got some nice spread on the plant, but no, no pods. The flowers form everywhere, fall off as soon as they get an opportunity or get jostled at all. And in the back, we've got that butch tea. Or the Trinidad Red, Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea Red. I don't know. I can't quite see the label from this angle. I always get the name wrong anyway. 
And then back here, this poor dying plant. Can you? Hopefully, you can see this. Can you see this? Somehow got a pepper pot on there, but it is not a happy-looking plant by any means. So, I mean, this one in the middle back definitely going to trim it down. At least we've gotten a pepper out of it in the past, so no big deal. That lemon hab back here, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I left that one far too long, and it is definitely dead. But we got plenty of those, so I'm prepared to let that one move on to the compost. Not really a big deal. Thinking about starting some herbs with some of these, see if uh, that helps. I've been listening to, and listening to a lot of really strange, strange pasture theories lately, and, and reading some very bizarre blogs. But you know, companion planting is what it all comes down to, and niche gardening. And there are a lot of people who have been suggesting I look into that for a long time, but not really sure how it's going to work with indoor plants because most of that seems to relate to soil structure with actual soil and you know real minerals and stuff in it as compared to potting soil which is like peat moss and well, it's garbage really there's there's no real nutrients in most of it so yeah so it's going to be interesting and i'm going to need to make some changes but right now what i really need to do is water these poor things so should probably wrap this up and get on that before I lose any more of my poor pepper plants. Yeah, so what was supposed to be a uh, great new day to test the microphone turned into just a regular sort of quick update of the Bear's Den peppers. Not a lot has changed, but yeah, focusing on other things. There's work, there's the basement aquaponic garden, which um, seems to be doing all right. We'll check back on that on Sunday. Everything seems to be settled in. I got all the fish in from outside, which is great because we got a big snow, big snowstorm headed this way. So yeah, I don't know. I hope everybody's having a much better time with their gardening situations than I've had this year, but uh, I am very much looking forward to getting things rolling soon once I get, uh, well, once I get my time management a little more under control. I think is probably the best way to put that. So, yes, much love, everybody, and uh, wish me luck with that time management thing. I uh, wish you the best of luck in your gardens, and I will see you next time.